Hey guys, so I get asked a lot about uh, where to get the file for uh, these learning trace boards like this one. And in this video, I will just be going over where to purchase this particular file, the hello my name is file, um, which font to use, how to edit the file, where I get my material and just uh, stuff like that. So one thing I wanted to go over with the board is whenever you are editing the file, you'll, you want the file to be flipped on the Glowforge. So the Glowforge is gonna uh, engrave this backwards. And the reason is because right now, my, when I rub my finger across this, it's, it's really rough and once you, if you color on that you will never be able to get the uh, the dry erase marker out of this that's why when you flip it so you engrave it uh, flipped and then whenever you flip it in real life you you don't have that rough feeling it's not engraved on this side so when you color on it it doesn't get into the grooves and you're easily able to wipe it off. Hope that makes sense. When you purchase the file, you'll have a folder that says, hello, my name is, and you'll probably just have two different files, a text file that just gives some general instructions and the SVG file. And I'll be editing this in Inkscape so double click to open and as you can see the hello my name is is flipped and you can easily flip this back by just clicking this uh, button up here okay and so When you want to add a person's name, let's just say uh, the one we demonstrated earlier, Greer, you type it in, hold down the control key, left click this arrow to move it up to resize it and keep its proportions. And if you're not satisfied with the spacing or how um, how uh, the letters turn out, then you can always go to object or path, object to path, and go to ungroup, and you can take away each individual letter and size it however you want to and make each individual letter different sizes, different spacings, stuff like that. And if you find that it keeps snapping to different areas, you can click this button up here to disable snapping. So um, I like to just, whenever I have a lot of orders that come in, I like to just keep it all the same size the standard size that it comes in but uh you do have to do path, object to path anyway so let me show you palermo okay regroup this resize this here Okay, and you always want to remember to do path, object to path. Otherwise, this will not print on your laser. And so to center this, I just click the name, hold shift, alt, and the scroll up button on my mouse. And that allows me to select the name plus the double lines here. And I just click the center button, and that just centers it up. And I'll do the same thing for Greer here. So it's centered. They're both centered. And very important that you remember to flip these before you send it to your printer. 
So now save this and I just type in the name that I'll be making. So hello, my name is Greer Palermo. That way I'm organized and I know which one to send to my laser. I'll save that to my desktop for now. And as far as the font goes, I will link this in the description, but you go to defont.com. The name of the font that I use is called LL dot. And in order to download this and send it to your Inkscape, you click the download button, save file, open it, and you're going to open this true type font file, double click and click the install button. And if you have Inkscape already open, you're going to want to close Inkscape and reopen it after you click the install button. And then you'll be able to find the font in your drop down menu as LL dot right here. So, um, where, where I get the material, the acrylic, you can go to my website and I'll link that down in the description, but you go to laserengravingbusiness.com click the material vendor as resources and find the acrylic section and you're going to click the link to that and this is where I've purchased my acrylic in the past um, she has really good shipping times and normally has a really good supply of inventory and uh, you're going to want to check out the eighth inch clear acrylic that's the one I typically buy so um, she she does come pre-masked and it comes to the perfect size for your Glowforge and you just type in how many um, sheets you're gonna want and you have to read I think she has a uh, you can only put so many per box before you have to pay for shipping again so you just have to read out her uh, shipping terms and everything and so when you send this file to your Glowforge so let's open it okay you want to make sure that they're flipped like we did earlier you're going to want to change this setting if you're in the Glowforge to medium clear acrylic. You're going to want to make sure hello my name is and Greer Palermo is set to engrave and you're going to want to change the lines the dotted lines here to scored and you're going to want to cut out the board. So that's the settings you need, you need, and I always use the preset settings for this. Sometimes I may slow down the cutting speed to 140 just to make sure that the uh, Glowforge completely is able to cut out the board. Because sometimes if everything isn't cleaned 100% and you leave the cutting on the standard setting, in my experience, it doesn't always cut. So I always change this to 140. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put a link in the description to purchase this file. And I've showed you where to get the font, where to get the material, and um, hope you look forward to more videos on uh, the acrylic and different tips and tricks for laser engraving, how to improve your laser engraving business, some project ideas on how to make money, how to price your products. All of those types of videos are on my channel. So I hope you check those out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.